Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris, man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today we're going to do May's Golden Time of Day. I love Maze. Maze is probably my all-time favorite band. A close second is Earth, Wind & Fire. But anyway, uh, this one's a pretty simple song, pretty straightforward, because a lot of these songs got a lot of chords, too, like the Ice Bells. It, it keeps moving, and you got to keep moving with it. You know, so I'm going to put the chart up here, in the, up here, uh, intro verse, and then at the end, it's just the E major 7, and then the C chord, taking it out. That's it, the out choice, we call it. So uh, as you're sitting here looking at this, as I'm talking, you'll see just not that many chords, and again, and then again it's pretty straightforward. They always do, uh, I guess you call it a run. Dun, 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 dun. You know, so uh, I'm going to put the record on, which you can't hear due to copyright issues. I'm going to play along with it until we get to the part where uh, we probably won't do the outro because I just gave you the chords. It's E major 7, and then it's the C chord. At, 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 at around the four-minute mark, and it might vary from uh, posting of that song, it goes A minor 7, B minor 7, E major 7 twice, and then after it does that twice, then the outro, which is the E major 7 and the C chord on out. So let's do this. Get to the beginning. Thank you. 
Okay, then it just does this twice. Da, 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 da. So that's the whole, that's the whole song. So uh, I guess one thing I just kind of want to mention for, for especially for you beginners, I love Maze and the guitar player. During that time, his favorite effect was the phase shifter. As you can see, you can hear the phase, and it does has a really beautiful sound. I love phase. Never was a big fan of the wah, but that's just my personal opinion. And definitely not the flange. You know, that's usually for kind of rock stuff, you know. It's just it's it's a too harsh effect for beautiful soul music. But that's just Morris Man opinion. So uh I'm gonna sign off now. Uh you know, just like I said in another video, please support the Patreon, please support your channel. Just a dollar a month, twenty dollars a year. There's my Patreon account right down there, click on that link and just you know, they donate one dollar a year a month. You know, twelve dollars an entire year. You don't have to pay that $12 up front. You know, so uh, I stress that this channel is your channel. This is not my channel. I mean, I'm doing this to help you guys. I'm not doing this because I just want an audience. You know, I get an audience, you know, and sometimes I just like studio work and just sitting here in my T-shirt and my jeans and got the, you know, the stand in front of me playing the music, you know. I kind of enjoy that just as much, if not sometimes more than the audience, you know. So I'm signing off now and, uh, you guys take care and uh, please support your channel. Please support the patron. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of these kind of videos where there's no copyrighted music in there. And just giving you, because I, I have been getting that through years. Why don't you just play some time without the music? That wasn't my format, you know, but I've changed it a little bit. And I, I, I've changed it where you get the best of both worlds. Sometimes I'll play with the copyrighted music. Sometimes I just play it along with it and you can't hear it. And... You know, you see me playing the guitar and you hear everything I'm doing. And one thing that uh, I, I need to m mention, uh, there are some good songs that the guitar is not carrying the song at all. So when you play it naked outside of the arrangements and the, the music, it sounds kind of empty and sounds kind of weird. But when you put it in there, it fits, you know. And this, this song here, the guitar player is doing a lot of fills and some chords but mainly feels, and I'm just playing the rhythm, you know. Uh, so if you're playing by yourself, it sounds like, you know, the song because you're playing all these chords with it, as opposed to me just picking. And, and playing, picking with no drums, no bass or piano, just kind of sounds kind of kind of empty, unless, you know, the song break down and you're just picking, and it gives you that quick emphasis on your part, you know, but... Uh, I'm going to sign off now. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.